up. You silly ass Christians had to cut out all that crying and bitching. Last day, shit is getting scary. They getting shook while we getting married. Sakari hand out obituaries, putting seminaries in the cemetery. We don't want nothing in return. Can't say the same for the Christian church who pass around that collection plate like six times for you hear a verse. Adultery, a bunch of secret hate. The sad to say shit is getting worse. Where they can't see these labor pains. Shit, before you know it, you'll be giving birth. Before you know it, you'll be seeing missiles. Before you know it, you'll be seeing ships. Israel got the birthright. It's not shows like Why the time when they scoff at us, talk shit on us, it's about shit that's actually what's wrong with us, man. Yeah. Even though they, even though they're, they're, the, they're the perpetrators of it, right? But at the same time, we can come above that, man. We can get understanding on how to move, man. All we gotta do is get wisdom, right? And that's what the boss has to come in. Find this is from the power of chapter one and verse seven. The fear of the power is the beginning of knowledge. The beginning of knowledge, go ahead. The fools despise wisdom and instructions. Relax your space, David Mary. Relax your space, David Mary. That walk my kid week in and week out, you're foolish, man. Right? And we pray that some of y'all see the light one day, man, before this thing get blown up, man. But y'all foolish. Y'all reject this. Y'all reject this light and y'all foolish, man. Don't know that this is life for you, man. Right? Dread is not our culture, man. Right. Good. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7 and verse 28. For Yahweh loves none but him that dwell with wisdom. Read it again. Yahweh loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. That dwell with wisdom, man. Again, the Lord don't love everybody. That's right. He definitely don't love those that, that's not seeking the wisdom of the Lord, man. And like I said, Deuteronomy 4 and 6 tell us what the wisdom of the Lord is, man. And it's simple, man. It's simple to get the wisdom of God, bro. All you got to do is take heed to what he asked you to do. Precept. This is, this is Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 21. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom. And that's, and that's, that's why our people is foolish as hell, man. Because that's all they love is folly. God. Like Biggie said, they just want to party and bullshit and party. That's all Negroes want to do. And his feelings, man. Right. Y'all just out folly, man. That's all y'all care about, man. Right. Who got the next this? Who's about to be who, who respond to this this track Drake put out? So it's like, that's all people care about. Right. You said they don't do nothing for them. <laughs> Just follow me, man. But, come. but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. Walketh uprightly, man. And that's why they really hate the men of the Lord, man. Because they walk uprightly, man. They walk in a way that they want they want to walk, but they too scared to step in it, man. Right. Right? A lot of our people are just too scared to step in the right way to walk, man. This is Proverbs 15 and 9. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto Yahweh. Right? The way you bless the Spanish Americans live, man, is an abomination to the Lord, man. Smoking is an abomination to the Lord. Eating pig, shrimp, crab, and lobster is an abomination to the Lord. Right, right. Trying to plot on how to fuck your man's woman or another man's woman at all is an abomination to the Lord, man. Right. All women out here carrying themselves like chokes is an abomination to the Lord. Right, right. And that's why y'all love it, man. Y'all love foolishness. Man. Right. Y'all love folly. Right, go ahead. But the Lord loves loves those that follow after righteousness. And that's why the Lord's going to preserve the men of the Lord, man. People that really stand up bold that you see week in and week out with their fringes on. Let y'all know who y'all is, man. Let y'all have let y'all know how to clean up your act, man. I'm trying to wash you by the word of the Lord, man. Right. We're filthy as hell, man. Right. Right. But this is the gospel, man. Because only you can receive the washing of the word, man. Right. Only you can receive the salvation that Yahushua came and died for, man. It right. didn't come for everybody, man. Yeah. Read that. Right. Isaiah 61 from the top, man. This is for God's sake. The 60 verse 1. The spirit of Yahweh is upon me. Again, man. Brothers can be doing anything, man. Anything right now, man. But we out here trying to feed the foolish, man. Go ahead. Because Yahweh has anointed me to preach good tidings. To preach good tidings, man. This is good news for y'all, man. Right? Y'all have been getting slapped inside your head by Big Mama growing up, man. Right. Y'all bid on each other, joking, so y'all should have toast, man. Right? To hear these harsh words shouldn't be really doing nothing to you, but letting you know you need to get right, man. Shouldn't be having you get in your feelings and start hating the brothers. Now we are telling you what's good for you, man. This is good news, bud. Now, the priest good tidings unto the meat. Go ahead. Yes, 
And who's more meek than you black Hispanic Native Americans, man? Who's more lower than the black man and the Hispanic man in the earth? Can you answer that for me, brother? Nah, my girl. You want to go on about some folly, bro? Go ahead. He has sent me to bind up the broken heart. Go ahead. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To claim liberty to the captives, man. And this is the captives who love their people, man. Right? Not just selfish niggas who's worried about getting high, man. Right? Chasing the next hog. Right. Chasing some skank hoe. You gonna only do you dirty, right? right. You gonna be planned to be dirty, right? The Lord is trying to bind up, trying to, trying to deliver the captives, man. Right, right. And this is why you see men, right? The men that you see facilitating this word, man. Right. Because we have to care for our people, man. And we have to have integrity, man. We really want to do the right thing for the Lord, man. Right? But most of y'all only want to please yourself. And it's going to get you a nuclear bomb on your head, man. What? You ever heard this information before, brother? Yeah. So you know your hands are right? Somebody goes to scripture 
that. When you say the Bible's man made, like, what do you mean man made? Man made, like somebody, like some, some, somebody actually, like, like a person probably a long time, 100, 150 years ago. But, like, all right, but, but I don't know where the idea came from, probably. I don't know. I just. So, but you gotta understand this, right? Like, everything we learn, nothing is just, it's just given. You just get it in your life. Everything you know was passed down from you, right? Your sense of being written, right? Written by somebody else. That, that is to be the reason for you not reading what's in there taking the counselor, right? Because this, this thing right here, we apply, like, we, we bring this week in and week out. Is that, right? Walls of God, right? And I said, I hate that brother. Is that, is that a brother of mine? Well, this is the KJP, but it, it, it really don't matter what Bible you got. Like, you got to be studious to go into the, the Hebrew and the Greek to understand what's really there, right? But like I was saying, we read books, we go to school. And we're, we're reading books that was made by me, right? To get somewhere in this society. You see what I'm saying? So why not read the book of the word of the Lord, right? That we see our people not living in, right? But if we did, it would come to life. And we see that if we did these things, our people would come to life. I'm not asking you to be You see what I'm saying? You, you don't do that for any other books you pick up. You see what I'm saying? Our people, but our people want to play the same. Exactly. And then you want to see, right? And then you want to see that this book is good. And not only because, you know, it has good advice, but this book prophesies. It tells you things that's going to that, that's going to happen thousands of years before it happens, right? Nobody, hey, because this is the modern inspired. It's not just in the body of Joe Cloak, bro, bro, man. You got to understand, this is our descendants that was divinely inspired by the Most High God himself, man. Right? Matter of fact, give me Romans 9 and 4, right? This is book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, chapter 20. No one. You say for Right. Yep. Literally, 
why the government literally being watched? Like they, like you know how they stop Black Panthers? They went and killed them niggas. And just, they want to do that to us because because we know who he is and we wake up. That's that's why we really care. We ain't never killed right. nobody. We ain't never went about to harm the people. So, so we don't do that. So, so we just teach our people who they is. But somehow we're listed as terrorists. Right. Right. Something that that they don't want us to do. Right. right. Saying, and that's they don't want you to bring it out, brother. They don't. They don't. So what you gotta understand, right? Just understand who you is, bro. You're so called black man, right? You're not so called black man. So what you want to understand is that you are so called you are positive Jamaican. Oh, I'm crazy, man. You got me. That's the right, right there. Right there's the kids, right there. The y'all kids in the right? Right. right. So now you know there is like the child of Benjamin, right? Right. right? What's required of that? Right. So that's uh, ten, 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 ten. I got a 10 by 12. This is, uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Right, and now Israel, what doeth the Lord, bro? Peter, see that's all praises, man. Oh, Rock of the church, man. Well, that's a Peter, name right all praises. You understand the Lord, Yahweh Son, the world ignorant called Jesus Christ, he left the apostle Peter to reign over his church. That's right. You got a powerful name, bro. And the fact that the Lord is calling you, man. He's calling you. chapter 10 and verse 27 my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me see that the Lord called on the sheep right here they follow they hear me listen once they hear me his sheep man they follow me that's what you did brother that's what you did right? so like I said man you a man of the Lord you had that time that's right so now you know you're a Benjamite brother Peter a Benjamite right a Benjamite this is what the Lord requires of you. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel. And now Peter. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of you? But to fear the Lord thy God. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. To love him. To love him. To serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. With everything that you have, give it to the Lord. Lord. To keep the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh, and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. So what the Lord requires of us to fear him, to love him, for how you love him, and fear him, and serve him, is by obeying his laws and commandments. Why? Because he said when we obey his laws and commandments as a nation, which is what we're out here doing, trying to build our people up so that we can get out of here, so that America can be destroyed, when we get the kingdom again, and when we get the kingdom, we're going to obey his laws and commandments, and the promise to that is us being on high. Christ right. in the earth again in righteousness, right? And all these other nations being below us, man. Because they got us below them, and they don't even know. In order for them to get blessed, to really be blessed, they got to bless us. But they right. curse us. That's right. Right? And as the, as the, 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 the uh, promise to Abraham, we went from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob, our people, our forefathers, and us, right? He said, I will bless them that bless them, bless thee, and curse them that curse them. 
all these nations cursed our people, so guess what? They gotta go into slavery. That's right! Just like they did to us, they gotta get it back. First, in order to get that, we need brothers like you that hear the voice of the Lord, go to it and do what it is. Start obeying the laws and commandments, and try to wake up the sheep. That's right. I'll be back down. That's what we out here to do. Get you brothers that's on your ass, scoffing that shit. Get brothers that's actually waking up and you man. Should be ashamed of themselves, man. Right. Right. If you scoff that brothers that's out here doing that, man, what the hell is wrong with y'all, man? Right. 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 We out here waking up the people, actually dealing with the people face to face, man. While niggas is trying to scoff and critique how we do shit. Right. Excuse my language, man. Right. Y'all niggas should be ashamed of yourself, man. As Christians had to cut out all that crying and bitching. Last day, shit is getting scary. They getting shook while we getting married. Sakari hand out obituaries, putting seminaries in the cemetery. We don't want nothing in return. Can't say the same for the Christian church who pass around that collection plate like six times for you hear a verse. Adultery, a bunch of secret hate. The sad to say, shit is getting worse. Where well, they can't see these labor pains. Shit, before you know it, you'll be giving birth. Before you know it, you'll be seeing missiles. Before you know it, you'll be seeing ships. Israel got the birthright. It's not shows like.